Hello everybody, welcome back to Balatro. Paul Lockhart 2508 says, what if you try and do a run where you try to get to $100? Well, not only will I try to get to $100, but let's try and win with $100, shall we? So, through the black screen of mystery, we come to yellow deck because clearly we're gonna start with a $10 leg up. Then we're gonna look for anything that will give us cash, clearly. But there's probably going to need to be some things like gold cards. Um, what else? Anytime. That we can have spare hands at the end to earn extra money from them. Right. I'm going to buy Mystic Summit. And then hold the rest of my money for interest. Because by the time I've gotten through all my discards, what's left over will be plenty of money. I need to spend my discards before I play my hand. So we're going to get a flush plus an extra 15 mulk because we have zero discards remaining. That's worth 1,500 points to me, which will be plenty for a little while. Gold Joker. Gain $4 at end of round. Sold. Okay, what do we want here? Hearts are debuffed, so we're not going to score a flush with them. Let's do clubs first. And then I just have to get rid of all of my discards. We don't have five clubs yet. How upsetting. I really convinced myself that we did, but apparently not. Do I think a pair of sixes? Oh wait, now I definitely do. All right, $36. If we're ever at our interest cap of 25, we're not going to be able to earn more interest. But at the same time, anything that I spend is stuff that I'm not saving with. So do I think even Steven is worth the $4? Probably not right now. So I'm just going to keep hoarding. Show me a club. Get rid of the rest of my discards. So close to just like a full straight royal flush, but this is going to be plenty. 1500 still. All right, we're halfway there. Droll Joker seems to be what we're moving towards right now. So I will buy that for more value in our flushes. Let's sort by suit. We have two of everything. Well, this is worth 15, which is the most of any pair of those cards. And of course, we get no more hearts. Wow, where are all of the hearts? There's got to be some more hearts in here. There they are. Right, $62. Eight ball does not work with flushes. We must play five cards. Must get rid of all of my discards first. Two thousand points for a decent sized flush. Seventy nine dollars. Right, we have 
One, two, three, four, five, six shops left. Is it worth telescoping and building our flushes up now? Probably. So, I'll spend ten there. Eight here is not ideal. But we do want to level up our flushes. And I'm going to risk four dollars here as well. And there's always the chance that we can double our money, which is lovely. I will spend four on a misprint and we'll keep moving. Well, can we find an eight or a king of clubs? We can indeed. How is our straight versus our flush right now? Flush, 55 times six. Straight flush, 100 times eight, so. This is totally fine, Royal Flush. It's the same as a straight flush. Uh, I should do uh, that way. It just gets the Royal Flush by name because a Royal Flush is just an ace high straight flush. They are not inherently different hands. But we will play this. Yep, we've got rid of all of our discards. $88 redos. Supernova. It's only six flushes. So a six extra malt is not worth that much to me, I think. What I do want to do is level up my flush. And I will take Juggler for now. And I will take an Arcana pack. Now, I could choose to get more money right now and basically hit the $100 goal and then spend whatever I get above $100. Or I could take this opportunity immediately to level up the Fool. I uh, level up Jupiter by playing the Fool. I'm gonna take the scoring. Because the money's guaranteed. The scoring isn't necessarily. But with 10 cards in hand, Oh, um, use your discards, you moron. So I might have been able to save an extra dollar if I hadn't have burned one extra hand, but it's fine. Right, we want to make sure we're leveling up our flushes. I will take the Arcana pack. Right, the Devil makes a gold card. $3 if this card is in hand at the end of the round. I was anticipating probably needing to use these a lot more than we have, but since they're offering me one now, is our deck still totally balanced? Yes. So let's go this Five of Hearts. start with zero discards there is that five of hearts so let's well mystic summit is going to be in play immediately which is good i have three diamonds in hand so we'll just play high card hold on to the five and hope to get some diamonds back we did not get any diamonds back but we do have some spades, so... Thank goodness. That is pretty perfect, because now we can play this flush, and if we still need it, we should draw at least one diamond out of five cards here. I hope. But we did not need it. And we get three dollars from the gold card. And the rest of our cash, up to 95 dollar reduce. I'm going to Arcana Pack first. Temperance gives us the sell value of our Jokers, which is currently $11. I'd rather that than another Devil card. Then I will take my Jumbo Celestial Pack. More Jupiter for us. And I will take a Chariot... 
just because it would be nice to deploy five extra multiplier whenever we might need it. Right, we've got three clubs and three hearts. I'll hold the five, but I will I will play it if I have to. But right now, it doesn't look like I have to. Amazingly, they're not giving me one more club. Amazingly, they're still not giving me one more club. Here's a pair. Thank you for one more club. Is this 7,000 points? I hope it's 7,000 points. 7,400. Gold card gets us some cash. $109. Start with improving our flush. And we'll take the Arcana pack. Alright, let's make a jack into steel. And then emperor into two new tarots. That's 20 more dollars for free. That's another steel card. So now we actually have enough money to just start re-rolling. Not that I really need to, but we could. Right. We're not wanting to play hearts as much because we have the jack of steel and the five of gold. So we can discard the hearts quite happily. I want to get rid of one more discard, so we can do that with this four. And you know what? Let's make another heart into a steel card. That's an extra ten malt just for having those two in hand. Thirteen thousand. Things are going to need to be a little bit bigger for the finale. Fortunately, more flush will help us in that direction. Right. Let's put some bonus chips on some clubs. That'll help us along a bit. Ah. Loyalty card. Will get us over the finish line if I can time it right. So, first of all, we've this bit to do. Show me some spades. Very nice. So, we just want to synchronize loyalty card with the finale. Is the dream. Too late for you, business card. More Jupiter. Do I want to make more clubs? We currently have a totally balanced deck. I'm not sure I really do. I don't really need more gold cards, though, so... I will take these diamonds. Well, actually, hold on. Our spades are totally normal. Our clubs are buffed. So I will take three spades, make them into clubs, and now we know to look for clubs more than anything else. Dusk would be great if we had some glass cards or something, but it's not really going to work out. So we're looking for clubs over anything else. Now I want to get rid of all my discards. I did wonder if I would get to a straight flush, but totally fine by me. And then we have the spades in reserve afterwards if we need them, which we do. This is on two hands remaining. 
but that's only the small blind, so we will get a chance to play it. I want that in reserve. I want that there. More bonus cards? Probably. Let's make more clubs into bonuses. Not you. Okay. Club hunting. We get it. Right, this is going to be very big. Now, how many hands do I realistically want to play between now and the finale? I think I want this to go off now. Then play a few hands in the next boss so that this is ready to go for the finale. So I'm going to play five high. And I'm going to play queen high. So this is ready to go. We did not quite get to straight flush territory, but that's fine. So this is going to be massive. And if we can repeat that in the finale, finale, repeat that in the finale, we will be absolutely fine. Temperance for eleven dollars. Sure. <laughs> egg. Bit late for you, Egg. I'm gonna buy a sun card for an emergency. Right. I want to play like four hands here. But I also want to have enough points to win the round when it's important. All right, I don't think this flush is going to be enough points to win if we don't have Mystic Summit going yet. Okay, now I need one more club. Or one more spade. Okay, that's good. Let's get rid of a last discard. This is one, two, three, four, five, six clubs. So we are onto all discards spent. That gets us over the line. We have two hands remaining on loyalty card. $121. So we have 21 in our hypothetical budget. Well, I could just make 20 more dollars, but I'm inclined to make more clubs. We have fewer spades than anything else. We have no spades here. So, hearts and diamonds are the same. So you know what? We don't need to score the five for gold at the end. So there's more clubs. On to Verdant Leaf. We have five clubs here. We have four diamonds there. So, we ditch all of our discards. Well, I could actually play this flush regardless of having not sold a joker yet. So I will.
Then this has one hand remaining on it. So I'll discard that. I'll discard that. I will play the Eight of Diamonds. Then I will sell Juggler. And then we will make this ace into glass. And play 22 chips, 10 chips, 10 chips, 10 chips, 10 chips with glass. On loyalty card with eight of hearts in steel in hand and no discards. One hundred and twenty thousand with one hundred ten dollars in the bank. So there you are, Paul Lockhart, a victory with a hundred dollars. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations for other challenges I should do, put them in the comments down below. Otherwise, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.